Now let's take a look at the actual master camera rig. You can see that when we open this up, we've got all these little dashes. And they're just objects that are named dash, and I'll go over that in a second. But what they are, they're just visualizations. They're just little spheres and cubes, so that way we can keep a greater understanding of what's actually going on with the rig. Now they're all just named dash, so that way when everything's set up and everything's all good, we can come up to the search, we can hit dash, we can select them all, and then just delete them, and it won't hurt anything. And also, if you don't want to delete them, but you don't want to look at them right now, you can just come in here, select it, and turn off the mesh renderer, and they'll just go away. Okay, and then you can bring them back. So let's start out with the whole rig. Part of the reason why we have these objects here is if you select the whole rig, the gizmo goes towards the center of all the objects combined. And that doesn't really help us understand what's going on. But if we select the dash, we can see that we have the origin point of the rig. So all these are set to the origin point of the objects that they're children of. So this lets us see, okay, the origin point of the whole rig, of the master camera rig, is right here, represented by this sphere. Now the origin point of the rig goes to the origin point of the character. And we can see that the origin point of the character is at its waist. So when we click play, our origin point goes to the origin point of the character. And that is the reason that we have this location adjustment, which is right here. So let's grab the whole rig and let's move it up and set it right on top of our character. So we've got this location adjustment and the location adjustment is set to the character's head. So if our origin point was at his feet or our character was a different scale, we can take this location adjustment and move it wherever we want to. Or if we don't want to look into the back of the character's head, when we zoom in and zoom out, we can just move it up a little bit. And then now we move around just on top of the character's head instead of right inside of it or right into it. We can also grab this and pull it down towards the waist if you want to have a third person shooter uh, shoot from the hip type situation. Next in line is the strafer point. So the strafer point Oh wait, let's grab this and let's move it back up to the head. The location object, the strafer point, and the rotation point all start out in the same spot. So the strafer point is the cube that moves back and forth. So when we come in here, okay, and when the strafer point moves back and forth, it takes the rotation point with it. Now if we zoom in here, we see that the strafer point is looking the same dire world direction. And then the rotation point is uh, always facing the camera, or more likely the camera is always facing the same side of the face of the rotation point. So next we've got the scroller. Now the scroller is the part that actually moves in and out uh, when we use the scroll wheel or when we collide with an object. So take a look at this. Oops. So we've got, let's zoom out here a little bit. We can see that that little orb there, as we run into the ground, it moves in. Or if we take here and we zoom in and we zoom out, the scroller moves in and out and uh, takes the colliders with it. So next we've got the colliders. Now the colliders are just these little orbs here in the back behind the camera. And what the colliders are for is when we hit play, we can see these red lines, right? So the red lines are the rays that are cast from the rotation object to the colliders. And that's what makes sure and tests that we don't actually run through any objects, that we don't clip through the terrain or buildings or anything else. And so we can make adjustments to these. We can select all these colliders. And if you find that your terrain uh, or your objects are, you're still kind of clipping through them, you can grab these and you can move them back. And that'll give you a little bit more of a buffer here between your camera and uh, and your colliders, where your where your collision is tested to. Okay, you can also grab these, and you can move them left and right and up and down, uh, or however however you want to. But they should be set up uh, pretty well by default. So really, the only things in the rig that you may need to adjust 
are the colliders and very likely the location adjustment if you're not using this default character. Okay, so that is the whole master camera rig and how everything works. Uh, I hope that it works well for you. I hope that it saves you some time so that way you can make your great games a little bit easier and a little bit faster.